Hi and welcome back to part three of Painting Spirit Ergon. So we're going to just get straight into it. We're going to grab our white Moon Glow paint and we're going to just use it straight from the sponge area. I'm going to draw a line straight around the arm there. Just an armband basically. Same on the other arm. Ooh, and I've just got paint all over my trousers because it's splodged. Oh dear. These things happen. Never mind. As long as these are reasonably straight, I'm normally quite happy. I'm not a perfectionist, that's why. And then we do the same thing around the wrist. These, again, are literally just... I don't know, just to break up the space. Do not have to be perfect because nobody's going to be paying attention to that part of my body at all. Wrists, done. I may sometimes, as I am now, make it a little bit thicker, but yeah. Once that's done, we'll leave that to dry. We're going to move on to the hands now. Um, I'm going to get a fresh wipe because my hands look like they're absolutely covered in paint, which they are, because it gets everywhere. UV paint is quite hard to work with, I'll be honest, but um, I like it. I cope with it. It is what it is. So we're not going to do the hands first. We're going to move on to the um, lower torso area. So I'm going to bring you down. And hopefully you'll be able to see we're going to get our slightly bigger brush let's clean it off because we're going back in with the green so we're pretty much going to carry on from where we finished earlier on um, and again we're just going to draw some squares and hope that we can get them reasonably symmetrical the way I always think if I've got this right is if I keep going down and I hit my belly button quite straight there's no definite amount of um, squares that we get in it's literally just however many I manage to fit in on the day I mean, I suppose I could, like, I don't know, use a ruler or something. But why make things easy? I think four's a reasonable number, do you? Yeah. Four seems all right. Plus, uh, my belly button's that close to the bottom one, I'm not going to fit any more in. So, we then move on to a thinner brush, and we do our little spiky bits. That come from the sides. You will hear me holding my breath as I'm doing these bits. 
purely and simply because they don't want something as silly as breathing to get in the way. Again, I must digress. Not perfect, nowhere near perfect, but as long as I'm happy, whatever. Okay, spinal column bit done. So, then the next part from here, um, obviously the, the lower torso has a lot of green to it. So we're going to go back to the slightly bigger brush. And again, I don't know why I decided to do this. It was just literally breaking up the area. Breaking up this mass that is my, my lower torso. This is one of the really cool parts about it as well, where I will often change the colours. Just because I can. <laughs> so, green's gone in, let's change. And let's do... Let's do... White. I think this would look better when it's all complete. There we go. And we're cleaning the brush again because now. We're going to go in with the purple, and with the purple, it's just a wisp. Looks cool, though, doesn't it? When you put the colors together, let's use that purple also and do some little wisps from here. I'm going to get out my little smaller brush now um, in fact no I'm not I'm gonna get a I have somewhere there it is I have a dotter now this is something that my wife gave to me and with this we're going to just dot I have no idea why I decided to do this. It's just something that I've always done. I think, again, it breaks up the space nicely. It's just a, a cool added detail. And then I will do the upper bit just before we're finished. I don't like to do too much on the upper section, especially when I keep looking down because it can ruin things. So I'm gonna move on to the arms now. Um, and the hands specifically. Again, we're kind of going to do a, an opposite effect. So, using the orange, I like to create a base um, right at the top from which my bone sort of detail is going to come from. So, I literally draw kind of a square, really. Sometimes I might put curved edges on it. Depends how I'm feeling really. <laughs> but that's literally it. And then I'll do that on all of my hands. I'm going to switch to a bigger brush though just to make that process a bit quicker. Again, I'm just cleaning the brush and then I 
filling that in and then we will go to the knuckles again none of this has to be perfect because not one person in my videos or when they're watching my videos is ever really sort of picking it apart and saying no that's not a perfect square that's not where it was last time that's not what it's about now what I do is about having some fun I paint myself every time because I enjoy it I've never once ever 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 said that my painting skills are on a professional level or perfect at all because they're just not and I, I really don't mind that the whole greater I don't know the whole greater scheme of what I do is I'm having fun and if, if I can bring some joy into the lives of other people with what I do when I'm having fun then that's that's brilliant that's amazing that's I'm doing something that I never thought I'd ever be doing and that's bringing smiles to people's faces right so moving on to my right hand using my left hand to do the brushing is always going to be tricky because I can't brush with my left hand but that hasn't gone on too bad so let's move on to the knuckles I do always feel like it's a struggle trying to brush but I won't ask anybody else to do it for me because normally when I paint I'm on my own in the house or my wife and the girls are asleep you know so it's, it's for me to do and it's all part of the enjoyment let's say of <laughs> being who I am and what I do. Right, so knuckles done virtually. If you're not too liberal with the paint, you can make the paint go quite a long way. You know why? Why pour too much out? It's better to pour a little bit out into your pots, and then go back and add to it if you need to later on. There's no point in pouring too much out in case you're not going to use it. I've had days where I've used full, you know, full tubes trying to create certain characters. The one thing I find with these paints is less is more. If you try and put too much on, um, it can just look wrong, really. I'm literally just dabbing these knuckle um, areas in because it's not a very big area to paint and I struggle to paint with my left hand as I may have mentioned already okay so that'll do that's that's fine so we're going to clean off that brush once again that's just the right size brush for what I want it for I'm going to go back to our green paint and we're going to do the bones so starting at the weird square shape we just bring a straight line down to the knuckle straight line to the knuckle that is literally the hand design in a nutshell. It's supposed to imitate bones I mean I have no actual idea about human anatomy and how things are properly but you know this is it's not meant to be mega accurate There we go. Again, it's not perfect, 
but it doesn't have to be. One hand done. Now we move over, over to the, the hand that I struggle with. <laughs> I was thinking if I can get my right hand to look okay, then that's that that's that 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 will just do. The lines tend to be a little shakier yeah, on my um, right hand because again I, I can't paint with my left. But I think that's all part of the wonderful imperfection. And my characters are wonderfully imperfect. I, I think they are anyway. Oh yes, I'm so sorry about my creaky chair as well. Aside from the fact that it creaks, there's nothing wrong with it, so. I'm just not really wanting to replace it. And even if I wanted to, it's not a priority. Okay, hand done. So while we've got the green paint on, we will then take the same brush and from the wrist area, where the blue uh, line is, we're just going to wisp a line upwards and then from the other blue band we're going to wisp a line downwards and then upwards again and then we'll repeat that process on the other arm again none of this has to be perfect that's the one thing I wanted to take away from this as well is none of this has to be perfect none of this is expected to be perfect we're going to now go in with the purple, which will look pink, and we're going to do some more wisps up the arm. I think I think I may have mentioned this before, but the idea for these wisps, or at least the armband bit here, was growing up watching, you know, wrestling with like the Ultimate Warrior and and <coughs> Kerry Von Erich, the Texas Tornado, and always being, you know, really. I don't know, marvelled with how they looked. And I think that's where these wispy, wispy bits came from. But the long and short of it is, it's when you're in front of the camera, they just break up um, the area. A bit like that. There's no real reason for it. It just breaks up one of those areas where there is no paint. Um, right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my pot with my green and my orange in and I'm just going to mash them together like so. Now I've been using these paints for a while and in my experience um, the yellow when you put it on is very 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 similar to the green in fact it's so hard to be able to tell the difference that I, I just stopped using the yellow but it was just a happy accident or a happy coincidence one day that I had to just mix these two together and in real light just turn the light on for you this kind of looks like a crappy brown color it really does but when you turn the light off and go back to UV It's kind of like a, a wonderfully yellowy gold. And I really like it. And again, all I'm doing here is breaking up some of the areas. I feel 
um, just look a little bit empty. All of these tiny little details, I think, just make all the difference. I'm going to use that um, on the wispy arm bit as well. Now, I had no intention of doing any videos in this paint. This paint literally was, I've just realised, we've not finished our little voodoo dude. It's good to have still got access to a little bit of green in the corner. Um, the whole point of this video, uh, I'm painting just so I can do a live on Facebook after this. So if you happen to be in that live, I will probably be telling you that I've just done this. So that's going to be weird. <laughs> so Voodoo Man has a little smile. Two round eyes. Again, I'm going to stress. Up close, this is nowhere near perfect. Now, this brush is kind of naffed because it's got bits flaying off it, which really doesn't help when I'm trying to paint. So now we're going to go back to our dabber and see if I can just muster up a bit of orange paint. Just to fill in those little gaps. I've just decided as well that I'm not going to put another spinal bit on my neck, purely and simply because I can't be bothered. I'm going to carry on with this lovely goldy colour up here. Isn't that just a wonderful colour? I love it, I think it's great. Um, let's do... Again, you may notice in some of my videos, just some random shapes that get dotted here and there. They are literally just to break it up. Now, I may have mentioned in one of my previous videos that I like to put a little extra detail in between my, my little nose bits. So I'm going to do that now using that lovely yellowy colour. Again, not perfect. It's the tiny little things, I think, that can sometimes just make all the difference. I'm going to do now just to finish off this design because I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that we've filled the gap we've done what we need to do I'm going to get these little pixel shakers these are absolutely fantastic I'm going to turn my fan off just while I do this but literally lean back and just tap can you see it just the tiniest, tiniest little bit makes all the difference. It's they're absolutely fantastic, and I like to. I think I've got more of my trousers than I have on my actual body. Uh, let's get them back on properly. I'm gonna go for the pink because we like this pink colour. If it comes out.
And again, it's just a fantastic way to add a little tiny extra, just something, if you want to call it that. Doesn't break up the design and still looks really cool. I think we're done. Yeah, I'm liking it. Hands are done. Arms are done. See, the whole concept of my character is really simple. I'm going to turn the lamp back on now because it's getting rather hot. But it just works well. Now, I hope you've enjoyed yourself and I hope this has given you a little bit of insight into Spirit Ergen and the concept of him and where he came from. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you would like me to do a video about one of my other characters in the same format, oh my God, look at my trousers. <laughs> um, break down the whole paint process, then please do let me know. And if I get enough people interested, then I'll do one for Urko, possibly, possibly Uni as well. But it's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you've enjoyed it. And just thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of this with me. Bye for now.